I'm Carol Neff, the organist of Mayfield Church. And in a moment, Tom Johns will sing for us the last chord. This poem was written by Adelaide Proctor in 1858. The music was composed by Arthur Sullivan in 1877. It is an inspiring song about connecting with God. It became one of the biggest commercial successes of any British or American song of the 1870s and 1880s. Thomas Edison loved this song so much that he used it on one of his very first phonograph recordings of music in 1888. It speaks of perfect peace in the midst of our discordant life. Seated one day at the organ, I was weary and ill at ease, and my fingers wandered idly over the noisy keys. I know not what I was playing or what I was dreaming then, but I struck one chord of music like the sound of a great amen, like the sound of a great amen. Flooded the crimson twilight like the close of an angel song, and it lay on my fevered spirit with a touch of infinite calm. It quieted pain and sorrow like love overcoming strife. It seemed a harmonious echo from our discordant life. It played all perplexed meaning into one perfect peace. It trembled away into silence as if it were low to cease. I have sought, but I seek it vainly, that one lost chord divine which came from the soul of the organ and entered into mine. It may be that death's bright angel will speak in that chord again. It may be that only in heaven I shall hear that grand amen. It may be that breast bright angel will speak in that chord again. It may be that only in heaven I shall hear that grand Oh. 